In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these four options water droplet design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added these uh, grid and fill circles and then from each circle, then one point is dropping here, kind of a water droplet. And then I've just put the option A with 25%, then B uh, with the 40%, 70%, and 63%. And then for each point, you can add the details here. Likewise, I have just created some more slides also where I have moved this side here and I've given without the gradient color here. And then you can add the detailed text. And if you want, you can give some different background color also. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel PowerPoint University. And if you like to uh, contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background. As you can see, here I have taken the dark green background. Then go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. From the basic shape, select the oval shape. Click the oval shape here and then shape outline, make it no outline and align center, align middle and you can give any light color, uh, this one. And if you want to increase the size uh, without uh, changing the position, then in that case you need to hold the control and shift key together and drag it. So you can see here it is increasing the size. So I'm going to keep the size maybe this much size. Then I'm going to add three or four uh, more uh, oval shapes. For that, press Ctrl D to duplicate and shape fill. I can give some light color again. Again, make this align center, align middle. And again, hold the Ctrl and Shift key and increase the size. You can see here. And then send this to back. If you want to increase the size further, again, hold the Ctrl Shift key together and increase the size. Again, I'm going to add one more Ctrl D again shape. I'm going to give maybe a blue color and again, align center, align middle. Again, hold the Ctrl and Shift key together and increase the size, maybe this much and send this to back. You can see here and at last I'm going to add maybe one or two more press control D again to duplicate again align center align middle maybe I'm going to give a kind of a lavender color and again hold the control and shift key together you can see here and send this to back so depending on your requirement how many uh, oval shapes you need you can add it so here I've added so this is one title is there so and one two three if you want i can add one more also press ctrl d so maybe i'm going to use some this color again align center align middle again ctrl shift increase the size and then send this to back so you can see here i've added these colors let me just remove the guides from here so either you can keep the uh, colors as it is or if you want you can put some gradient fill also for example let me just select this circle right mouse click go to format shape and under fill i'm going to select gradient fill you can see here by default four stops are there let me just delete two stops and then the direction is linear and then i'm going to select maybe the linear right and this side i'm going to give the color which is say this one and here I'm going to give a kind of a light blue color or maybe I can give a kind of a pink color. So you can see here like this and because if to differentiate this one, what I'm going to do is I can give some shadow effect here. So kind of shadow effect you can give. Again, I'm going to select this one and then this one I'm going to select maybe a purple and uh, the lavender and the blue color again give me I'm going to select the gradient fill and here I'm going to select maybe a kind of a blue and then I'm going to select maybe a lavender color and again make sure it is linear direction again I'm going to select like this and for this also if you want you can give some shadow effect 
so like this you can just change the color maybe for this color i'm going to use the lavender and the yellow color so or this color the gold color kind of thing again gradient fill again i'm going to select maybe the the lavender with kind of this color again give some this one like this and this one also i'm going to select the gradient fill and here i'm going to give some transparency effect something like this you can see here so like this you can do it and here also the colors uh, look same then i can just come and give some a different color i want for example maybe something like this so whichever color you feel better you can just do it so once you have done this one i'm going to group this press ctrl g to group it hold the shift key and reduce the size because i'm going to add some points here so that i need some uh, space to do now let me just go to insert shapes from the rectangle i'm going to select the rectangles so first rectangle from this one you can see here shape outline make it no outline and width you can make it 0.05 or 0.05 you can see here let me just bring back the format shape and the color i'm going to choose the color which is here you can see here this color so it looks like it is falling from this and then i want to give a water drop kind of uh, effect there go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape you can see something like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give the same color let me just zoom in right mouse click edit points you can just increase the size and further reduce it something like this so you can see here you end up getting shape something like this and then reduce the shape size and then just attach it here so it looks something like this and then again i'm going to select this press ctrl d so this is for the second one for the pink one you can see here so for this i'm going to select this color and again let me just select this one and put it here again shape same color this likewise you can just add maybe a kind of a blue color here it'll come here that will look better also i can just select this one and can make it a blue color here all right so again for this let me just select ctrl d and this is coming from here i'm going to increase the size you can see here again the color i'm going to choose this color let me just duplicate this and then the last one i'm going to select this press ctrl d you can see here i can just add it here again increase the size and again if you want to change this color also you can change the color maybe i can just change to some yellow kind of thing and the same thing i'm going to use it here and then i'm just going to ctrl d to duplicate and just add it here change the color to this so you can see here we have uh, added all the options now then it's time to add the text for that go to insert text and i'm just going to put this is option a you can make it the same color of what we have used make it bold increase the size you can just put it here or maybe i'll reduce 20 size control d so this is b this is c and this is d and if you want you can just select all and move it a little bit up also and then change the color as per this drops so once this is done you can go and insert some percentage also here maybe this is 25 percent depending on the requirement you can just change it let me just increase the size center align so like this you can just put the percentages and then change the percentage as per your requirement and if you have the icons uh, you can add the icons here or 
I can just change. Let me just change it to B. This is C. And this is D. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this. Let me just move it. One, two, three, and four. Control D. Bring it here. Then put the number in the ascending order, the alphabets. And you can add the detailed text here for each one. So something like this, again, you can make it either white or you can go to the text options, increase the transparency effect. So it looks like, like this. Control D, you can add your own text, something like this. And if you want to move this side, you can just move this one and you can have enough space to write more details here.